snow on the first day of spring. Mother Nature's latest fuck you in this bitch of a winter, am I right? <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, you know how it is when we get to winter, right? I mean, like, after snow like this, you just want to, like, run out and barrel out the first ounce of warmth there is. And, you know, we always underdress, right? The minute it gets a, a ray of sunshine, you know, like, I'm in my tank top, I take off my pants, it's like, it's 39 degrees! It feels like 40. <laughs> And you know, it's not the winter so much, it's, it's this time I hate, the inconsistency, you know? It's 70 one day and then snow the other. You know, I'm not barreling out of shit now, I'm scared to leave my, my door, you know? I'm, go, I'm peeking out like a munchkin waiting for the good witch to tell us everything's all right. Like, come out, come out, winter. That's a horrible good witch impression, I'm sorry. That's like Gandhi, it's like Gandhi. It's more like Gandhi. I'll work on that. I'm gonna work on that for next time. But you know what I'm saying, that, that's my point. And, and look, we're looking for any sign, any morsel that, that the good weather is coming. The biggest farce to me was Groundhog Day this year. Remember February 2nd, it was like a giant blizzard and everyone was so happy. They're like, the groundhog didn't see a shadow. It's gonna be a short winter. The groundhog couldn't see a shadow because he couldn't get out of his fucking apartment, all right? He was fucking still, he's like, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. It's a controversial end to this shadow streak. But spring is coming, and I know this because I have softball practice soon. Uh, anyone play like Zog Sports, intramural sports out there? No one. Wow, lazy, but <laughs> thank you. I'll see you out there. But you know what I mean? I, I play softball, and I'm in my mid-30s now, and I, I still love it, but it's kind of losing its flair a little bit when you get older because th there's no hatred, there's no rivalry anymore. Like when you were younger in high school, it's like, we are South High School, we must beat North, you know? <laughs> but now you're like older, you're playing like other companies and businesses. It's like, how are you gonna get mad? It's like, you know, we're gonna destroy you, Lord and Taylor men's shoe department. <laughs> I hate men's shoes so much. This is, this is no joke. I play on my company team in Jersey and we played in the championship, uh, the Bergen County Orphanage, like the volunteer at the stands. <laughs> And like, we won, but how are you gonna feel good about that? You're gonna, how are you gonna trash talk or gloat? Unless you're like a complete dick, like, yeah, orphanage, you go down again. Are, are these the orphans? Did you bring them? Sorry, kids, you lose. Now you don't have a trophy or parents. What? <laughs> what is there, or, are there orphans here? The orphans, it's like orphan night at Gotham. No, no parents, no cover. Come on in, it's, it's a fair trade. But uh, I did renew my love for softball in a very strange way. Uh, a few years ago, I went to a, a singles weekend up in the mountain. It was a Jewish singles weekend. So I went to this Jew weekend, and, and you know, and I met up there. there's also sports, right? You meet people, but there's sports. So I signed up for softball, of course. And let me tell you something. I am a decent softball player, you know? I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. But you put me on a field with a bunch of nebbishy, stereotypical Jews, and I am like Babe Ruth. I was like Albert Chuholz out there. It was crazy. I'll tell you an example. I'm playing third base. Guy hits a slow line drive to me, and I make the catch. A hundred Woody Allens were like, ooh. <laughs> they were coming up to me the whole game like, what, what was that thing you did out there? I'm like, that my son was called a catch. <laughs> they were English Jews. That's why he talked about that. But you know, it was great. And the whole weekend too, I was like revered. They were like, you know, completely, I was their hero. I was like the king of the Jews there. It was great. Well, not the king of the Jews. I was like, oh, top five. That's not going too far. I wasn't that good out there. And this is all true. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, everything I'm saying here is true. And I'll tell you why. You know, uh, we're new talent. This isn't my job. So I got to bring friends in the audience. And they're worse than any drunk heckler I could face because, you know, like, they've known me my whole life, so they can call bullshit on anything I do. So I, you know, I can't be up here and be like, God, getting laid in high school was completely crazy, am I right, everyone? <laughs> Being a star quarterback and a cowboy really got me a lot of energy. <laughs> but, you know, they're just going to be like, uh, Mark, wearing leather chaps in gym class does not make you a cowboy, right? <laughs> And he never got laid. You were bald in eighth grade, you Charlie Brown motherfucker. <laughs> so... Being honest up here, you know that for sure. And really, this generation, no one, you, you gotta be truthful. I mean, with the iPhones and Facebook and YouTube, everything, you know, you can be caught in a lie easily these days. Like Twitter, you can follow somebody every hour what they're doing, right? I'm, I'm on Twitter, I just joined Twitter. I'm not a big fan of Twitter. But for those who don't know, essentially, you gotta say what you wanna say in 140 characters. This little, look, I come from a Jewish family. You know, a king of tenants, my mom takes three minutes to say God bless you when you sneeze, you know, and I have the gene. I have that gene. I can't get through 140 characters, you know. I'm like a 14-year-old teeny bopper. I'm like, oh my God, you guys do not believe what happened. This is amazing. You are out of characters. <laughs> My sister, ironically enough, I think would be very good. Do you have these friends who are like texting savants? 
where they just like can, they can text like two digit words and like no vowels and be like, you know, what the hell are they talking about? My sister is like that. Trying to figure out a text from my sister is like trying to solve a Wheel of Fortune puzzle. It's like crazy, huh? <laughs> Except there's no prize at the end. It's usually lame. I'll be like, oh, I solved it. Is it dad wants you to get him more thick toilet paper? <laughs> yes, it is. It's not worth the decryption, really, in my opinion. But look, I don't want to be, look, I'm all for this Facebook and Twitter and progress and change. I don't want to be like, get off my lawn. You know, I'm not like that kind of guy, you know. I, uh, I'm all for it, but I just hate when they change the past. I'm all for going forward. Just don't change the past. In this, like, Ocho Cinco, Puff Daddy world, it's like, we have it here, right? The Triborough Bridge and now the RFK Bridge all of a sudden. Sears Tower is the Willis Tower, right? Don't change these things. You know what keeps changing a lot? Space. Last 10 years, the nerds have been changing space. Remember like six, seven years ago, they're like, Pluto is not a planet anymore. You know, billions of years, now Pluto's not a planet. And that kind of pissed me off because I don't you know, remember much from elementary school due to time and a little bit of weed. But you know, what I do remember are three things. You know, three things. One, we landed on the moon. Two, how to find Orion's belt in the sky, the three stars. And three, you know, the order of the planets from the sun. Remember they used to teach us that, that silly little phrase, remember Mars, Venus, like, my very excellent mother just sent us nine pizzas, right? <laughs> but now they're saying, you know, Pluto's not a planet, so basically my mother didn't send a shit, you know? <laughs> Neptune is nothing, she's not so excellent anymore. I gotta change the whole goddamn phrase. And here's the worst, here's the worst, if you heard this. They changed the zodiac signs. Do you remember that? Like three or four months ago? Something shifted in space, and now Leos are Cancers, and everyone shifted, da da da. But I don't want to hear anyone bitching, all right? Except for the Sagittarius of us, right? <laughs> Word. Because Sagittarius, you know what they did to us? They slit us, and they gave us a brand new one. And it's like Ophococcus. That's what I swear to God. It's like Ophococcus. And, and look, let's get one thing straight first. I'm not in, I was never into astrology. I always found it weird. Let's put it, you know, my, my sign for 35 years is like two rams fucking each other with a crossbar, right? It's not exactly like, you know, but those are my fucking rams and my crossbow. You know, you can't change it now, you know? And it's so Ophococcus. It sounds like a Greek gay porno star, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to see what my new sign is now. It's like, here you go, Ophococcus. Like, what's going on here? It's like, I don't know who that guy is, but I'm pretty sure that's Orion. But that ain't his belt. <laughs> Thanks, guys.